This cat don't talk when rats around. Tom and Jerry, test me, my dude watching. I got the proctor ready, cock the desi. Jazz, you can stop already, pop a gun. You too afraid to even pop your cherry, but... <laughs> And these top tier bitches scared to battle the tour because she used props proper. But don't get gas couture. That shit is getting old. You bring a proper slut trying to sit down on that prop. Hush, if I bring something to show and tell, let's hold in shells. Then I'll be the only prop her. Trust, it'll leave her in the hospital to see a TV. The doctor's gonna have to prop her up. All right, boys and girls, this week's Battle Rap Biography features Louisiana's own official. Let's get right into it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't just introduce her, right? Let me get it together. This week's Battle Rap Biography features the numero uno, the best in the female circuit, official. And we got all night to debate this, baby. Let's get right into it now with an estimated 22 battles on her repertoire. Official has by far surpassed many in the rankings with the best punching style I think I've ever seen coming from the female circuit. Jump starting her career over five years ago on various platforms like Texas Battle League, Spit That Heat, and Got Bars TV. In early 2013, Official got her chance to display her unique talent, no pun intended, on the biggest platform in female battle rap, Queen of the Ring versus Unique Bars. Now throughout the 2013 run, Official stayed busy on the Queen of the Ring platform making her presence known versus the likes of Wordsmith K. Prophet, the aggressive one Lex Banco. Official even tapped into the two-on-two -two element um, in 2013 with a Got Boss TV appearance with T. Riley versus Scotty and Taylor J. Fast forward to March 8, 2014, Queen of the Ring presents Caskets of Classics, featuring your girl Official versus C3. Now yo, you cannot name five battles that had a better back and forth vibe than this battle. I mean all time, you cannot give me five. This bar fest was so debatable and talked about on social media, I mean it doesn't make any sense. This was a timeless classic, you gotta watch C3 versus Official. Now that we hit the summertime, summer 2014, Queen of the Ring is back again, but this time with their own summer madness. NHB, no holds barred. June 28th, how could you ever forget? The Super Bowl of female battle rap events was upon us and featured nothing but box office looks. I'm talking Jazz the Rapper vs. 40 Bars, QB Black Diamond vs. Farrah Funeral, and of course, Official vs. Queen of the Ring vet Couture. Now, Couture, one of the more popular artists from the brand, has an exceptional skill set and a fan base as well. So, official, though put in work time and time again, had to literally prove herself once again on the Queen of the Ring platform. I'll put them rocks out galore. Don't fuck around, cause I'll pop off for sure. And I'll get this fake bag when I knock off Couture. <laughs> Also, before this year was out, official locked in with Hemi on the New Orleans Battle League, 
and also made a double appearance in 2014 on Queen's Flip Quiet Run platform versus Miss Miami and also what I say is her most underrated battle in her career, The Little Battle vs. Daylight. I'm not even gonna hold on, I thought she did Daylight pretty dirty for the sample size that we got. It's a pretty good battle, I thought that Official had a tough run in 2014. Now as we get into 2015, the URL is somewhat getting more into the mix of the ladies featuring some dope matchups throughout the years that for whatever reason were not set up on the usual female platform. Outside of the Snoop Dogg's Gladiator School appearance versus E. Hart, it was quite apparent that the skill set of official had to branch out to different places to be seen by different faces. So here we are, May 9th, 2015. The URL presents Gnome 5. Now back in 2014, Jazz the Rapper shocked the world with a dominant performance against Top Girl 40 Bars. The impact from that battle for Jazz and the momentum that Official was building over time led the two girls to a crash collision on the world's most respected. That night, I'm sorry, Gnome 5, a star was born. The same overwhelming, dominating presence that Jazz had for 40 just a year prior, Official had all of that shit and then some for Jazz. I mean, you got the crowd screaming 3-0 and leave her alone. I mean, what can I say? Watch the game tapes. This was the best Official I think I've ever seen. Now, September 2015, the demand for Official to the return of the URL was in rare form. But versus who I mean, Official has already battled some of the top girls, another battle away from the queen of the ring but on the URL would kind of have to be a hustler's mentality. The URL presents Summer Madness 5 featuring female superstar battle rap artist Miss Hustle versus Official. Now Miss Hustle was considered not only URL's first lady and arguably the GOAT of queen of the ring. She was just all flat out dope, like no denying when Hustle got in there on that stage or in the ring, just dominant performances, back to back to back, this is how she gave it up. Now one of the more challenging battles for Official, um, as I look at her resume, but she did still do exceptionally well versus Hustle, so shout out to Miss Hustle and Big Up to Official for that dope battle. Now that 2016 rolls around and the strategy for Official seems to be the priority. With already having built one of the most credible resumes in female battle rap, it was apparent that now more than ever, Official would have to take each battle wisely and in a timely manner. Every moment counts at this point, and if you miss a beat, the band may pass you by. I'ma sum up this year 2016 with simply one word for Official. Legendary. You talking Guerrilla Warfare vs. Lady Luck? RBE vs. QB Black Diamond? Whoa! And the King of the Dot vs. Disaster. Did you hear me? I said Lady Luck, QB, and Disaster. One year. Let's cut this shit, y'all. Let's cut this shit. No one has done it or is doing it like this girl official. So as we embark here on 2017, Official is still in her bag making power moves and progressing as always. She locked in earlier with veteran Tori Doe back on Queen of the Ring and she made her Queen of the Ring return. And as of late, fellow Southern Spitter Miss Merck from out Memphis on the new Superior Entertainment Arena platform. So the girl owed to me is holding the crown and you know just remaining active doing her thing so battle rap community it's time to put the biography of official all together in its proper perspective because i'm well aware that it's still in all actuality we still got a lot of work to do baby we got some names out here we got 40 bars barney fucking godiva even shuni the rap i would like to see that battle go down is that you know it's still some noise to be made but what makes the best sense to y'all for official and is official the best female puncher of all time where are we ranking her right now when it comes to the bars y'all let me know but a major shout out to louisiana zone and those official man a top girl and the queen of the ring if you ask me 
This is the biography of official Big up to her 7 Mitchell T7M Radio man Y'all already know the drill Appreciate y'all locking in Y'all know the drill Like, comment, and subscribe Definitely appreciate it Shout out to official and female battle rap If y'all like the biography If you want to continue to help to make the channel grow Man I'm going to go ahead and leave the donation link In the description box We definitely appreciate the support as always But we going to hold it down man And major shout outs and props to the girl official this week's battle rap artist on a biography i'm seven mitchell man t7 on radio i'm out